Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing you another Batman Arkham Origins video. And I know some of you are probably asking, Caboose, where is the PlayStation 4 gameplay? Where is the PS4 gameplay? And unfortunately, they're not really allowing you to record with any recording devices. It's going to be a very complicated process to get any gameplay from the PlayStation 4 onto YouTube. But I'm going to do my best when I get the Injustice Ultimate Edition to upload some of the live streams and stuff like that. So look forward to that possibly by Monday because that's when I'll get the game for sure. So yeah, look forward to that and uh, let's get right into the commentary topic that we have at hand. So as you are reading from the title, today we're going to be talking about some reasons why I think that we need to get Arkham Origins on the next gen. So this is not going to be in any particular order. I've only got really three main reasons why I think so. So let's get right into it. Number three is that we should finally just get rid of these 360s and PS3s, you know. Uh, I'm not saying th this is not going for everybody. This is just for me. In my personal opinion, uh, I'm really dumb. GTA 5 Arkham Origins is literally the only reason why my Xbox 360 is still sitting in my room right now. So as soon as we can get this next-gen port out with the old and in with the new, the next-gen is here, guys. Let's get to it. So that is my number three. I mean, I know it kind of sounds a little uh, insensitive coming from me. That's not. I'm not going for everybody's reasons. It's just my reason why, or at least one of my reasons why I think that we need this next-gen port for Arkham Origins. The second reason, or number two on my three reasons why we need this next-gen port, is so we can repopulate the online servers. For those of you who have been playing Arkham Origins online, you know that it is dead. Uh, I made a video earlier and I was like, oh yeah, keep searching guys, keep searching. And uh, by that point, it was like, yeah, there's a few people still playing. You can still get a full lobby going after a little bit. But now, it is just about dead. There is just pretty much nobody playing online. And that really sucks. But with the next gen, if they promote it correctly, if they release new game modes and a bunch of maps, we can repopulate these servers big time on both the current gen and the next gen I guarantee it I absolutely guarantee it if they just if they just advertise it correctly with Arkham Origins release there's literally one trailer for the multiplayer you know and that didn't give us that much with the beta there was you know there's only one map and one game mode and that's kinda all we ended up getting was four maps and one game mode with the multiplayer I still do enjoy the multiplayer I really do but yeah so that's my number two reason is so that we can repopulate the online servers and get them going again. The last reason or the number one reason, I think this is on everybody's list why it should be on the next gen, is to fix the glitches. If you've been playing Arkham Origins single player or multiplayer, you know that there is quite a bit of glitches in terms of people's game saves being corrupted, people falling through the map and unable to... Uh, get out of the glitch like people uh, they fall through the map and like even if you restart to the last checkpoint um, You'll still be falling through the map So there's absolutely no way to get out of the glitch and that sucks But with if there was going to be a next-gen port I guarantee MT that they want to make it as perfect as possible for it So they would fix every glitch obviously I'd, well, I would want this on the current gen as well But they would fix every glitch they'd make it so much better for everybody and the loading screens you know like it'd be obviously much less there'd be less frame rate issues because you know the maps kind of big there are quite a few frame rate issues here and there like the the frame rate will drop for some some people their frame rates drop big time at like at certain points um the texture pop-ins will be much less relevant you know when i'm playing online and i'm going through the skins it takes a good two seconds for the textures to pop in with the next gen port, with a next gen port that is, all gone. Guarantee it. So that is my number one reason why we need to get Arkham Origins on the next gen. What are your three reasons or more than three reasons why you think we need to get it on the next gen? Or would you just not want a next gen uh, port for Arkham Origins? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Kubuse XBL. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.